Ecclesiastes chapter 26. Blessed is the man that hath a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be double. The virtuous woman rejoice at her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. A good wife is a good portion. It shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord. Whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart toward the Lord, he shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. There be three things that mine heart feareth, and for the fourth I was sore afraid. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and a false accusation, all this are worse than death. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman, and a scorch of the tongue which communicateth with all. An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that hath hold of her is as though he held a scorpion. A drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger, and she will not cover her own shame. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Watch over an impudent eye, and marvel not if she trespass against thee. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain, and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down, and open her quiver against every arrow. The grace of a wife delighteth her husband, and her discretion will fatten his bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. A shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace, and her continent mind cannot be valued. As the sun when it ariseth in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. As the clear light is upon the holy candlestick, so is the beauty of the face in ripe age. As the golden pillars are upon the sockets of silver, so are the fair feet with a constant heart. My son, keep the flower of thine age sound, and give not thy strength to strangers. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession through all the field, sow it with thine own seed, trusting in the goodness of thy stock. So thy race which thou livest shall be magnified, having the confidence of their good descent. And harlot shall be accounted a spittle, but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. A dishonest woman contemneth shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. A woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all. But she that dishonoreth him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all. A loud crying woman and a skull shall be sought out to drive away the enemies. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. Man of war that suffereth poverty, and man of understanding that are not set by, and one that returns from righteousness to sin. The Lord prepareth such an one for the sword. A merchant shall hardly keep himself from doing wrong and a hawkster shall not be freed from sin.